hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ, and I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls. And yes, I am sick because the weather can't make up its mind. One week it's 70, then it's 50, and then it's 70 again, and then it goes straight to 40 degrees. My body doesn't have enough time to acclimate to all of that, so I get sick. It's, it's fun times here. The weather is more bipolar than most people I know. But today, we are going to be taking a look at Shadow High Series 3 Pinky James. I don't know what's up with the names. I think I've said that in a couple of videos already where I've reviewed the new Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls where like the names just I'm not vibing with the names. But here we have Pinky James. She is a beautiful doll. Just not a beautiful name. But like I've mentioned before in the other Shadow High videos, the glitch pattern that we used to have on the Shadow High boxes is gone. And one weird thing that I've noticed is it says rainbow in the back of the box. Like it's such, it should say shadow, not rainbow, but okay. We have little designs around the box that are kind of like pertaining to the character's interests. And here is the back of the box. We have Pinky, Oliver, and lavender. I always get lavender and lilac mixed up because it's so confusing to me. But it says, the students at Shadow High always let their true colors shine. And Pinky is film focus. I don't know. I kind of would feel like she'd be like, like computer animation or something. She's like really big into gaming. I don't know. What do I know? But there is her barcode if you are interested. I got her at Walmart for $24.88, somewhere around there. So it's almost like $25, $26 after tax. I can't math, but that math sounds right to me. But let's go ahead and get Pinky James out of the box. All right, Miss Pinky James is out of the box. But before we take a look at her, we're going to take a look at what she came with because that's just how I do my videos. But yeah. So first up, we have this adorable little headset. It has these cute little cat ears on top and it says shadow on the side. I, I have to know, how, how do y'all gamers wear headsets? Because I have a headset for my Switch and I put that on and I can't hear a thing. Like, I can hear my game, but I can't hear like anything else, like no other kind of noise. And it creeps me out so much because it's like, I'm not going to be able to hear if somebody breaks into my house and just does away with me. So yeah. <laughs> How do you guys like handle that? Because I can't handle it. She comes with a little gaming console that looks like a Switch. Again, whoop. again we have little cat ears. Uh, it looks like she's playing some kind of like fashion design game would be hilarious if she was playing the new Rainbow High game that just came out. Honestly, they should have put that. They should have put that and they could have been kind of like promoting their new Rainbow High game that just came out. And the back of it says SH for Shadow High, you know, shh for Shadow High. Comes with a magazine that seems to kind of be uh, I don't want to say like parody, but like it's like Roblox and Minecraft. Um, the Chromax Shade Game Companion. Play the Rainbow Way, the ultimate guide to Chromax. And then it's written down here. I think this is like Latin. Um, so you can't, oh my, the pages are just sticking together. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And it's really cool that it's an actual like magazine that actually has like articles and stuff in it. Bright, colorful homes, but you can't like read the text or anything because it's kind of like the same text over and over again. Build the rainbow. Pixel heart. Cute. The ultimate guide to Chromax. And her sunglasses. They are pink. They have like little white studs on them. And the lenses say SH on it. How People who wear sunglasses like this, how do you see out of them? Because I feel like all I would see is the like 
little design that's on the frames. I would probably trip and fall so badly with these on. And she also comes with a stand that is in a pink color that actually matches the doll, whereas uh, Rosie came with a pink stand and she was a red doll, but you know, interesting design choice. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at Pinky James. Does she have marks on her face? She does. So there wasn't very many of these dolls, like the Pinky James doll for me to choose from. And what I'm doing with these dolls is I'm kind of like, I have a list of which one I want first and which one I want last. And I'm just kind of like working my way down with the list instead of buying them all at once. So there wasn't many for me to choose from. So she's got little marks on her face. I'm sure I can wipe that off with like some water. But I love this doll's, like, just the look on her face is just, it's just such a beautiful look. It almost reminds me of, like, Nicole's, Nicole Steele's face, where it was just, like, this soft little face. So she has some dark brown eyebrows. She has this, like, really cool, like, makeup design. Like, it's, like, top layer is, like, this hot pink. We've got the black wing. We have a lighter pink right here. And then, like, the smoky brown. And then... I don't know if you can see, like, there's two little, like, smoky brown, like, dots right there. That's very, like, I don't know. I kind of like it. That's like, so interesting to me. And there's her beautiful pink lips. And then her earrings. This top portion looks like a zipper, like, a zipper pool. And it says SH4, shadow high. And then we have these little pieces down here. They're plastic, but they kind of look like, I was going to say shoelaces. And the end piece was like the aglet, which is a plastic piece on a shoelace. But I also kind of feel like they're almost like bungee cords or something. I don't know. I don't understand high fashion. And then this is her hair. It is this beautiful pink color. We have just all micro braids. And I love it. This is kind of how it is out of the box. So you kind of have to just fix it up a little bit. There is some product in her hair, which is so weird to me. Like, why did we put product in her hair? But you just kind of, you know, mess with it and you can loosen up the product and everything. And she's got these adorable little baby hairs. They're painted pink and then almost like a like purple color. Moving on down to her outfit. So she has this adorable shirt on. I actually really like, like this shirt. This is cute. So this top portion is almost like that denim material. Oh my God, is a button already falling off? Yes. And it fell on the floor in the abyss of my doll room and I'm never going to be able to find that little metal button. So be careful if you get this doll because apparently these are not placed on there. Great. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to be okay. Uh, but yeah, this portion right here is like a little denim bustier, 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 corset, whatever you call it. And we have a little metal zipper detail right here. And then it's like little off the shoulder sleeves. So they are like the pink color that like pretty much matches her hair. And we have little patches that say shadow high. Sha. And right here we have like a little eclipse. And on this side we have anti-sparkle. Do for shadow. And then it says anti-sparkle down here again. And her nails. She has the long nails. How do you game with long nails? Just like Scarlet came with the long nails and she's like creative writing focus. And then we have this girly over here coming with these long nails and she's a gamer. How do you do it? How do you, how do you have, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just don't understand how she games with long nails, but they are pink and they are tipped in black. And then we have her skirt, which almost resembles Emmy's skirt. It's like kind of like the same color as Emmy's, but I think it's a little shor shorter because Emmy's skirt was like really long for some reason, but we have two little embroidered safety pins and it's like pleated and both pieces are held together in the back by Velcro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is this? What is this? Is that... Is that mold? Is that mold? No, 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 no. 
That can't be mold. That can't be mold. It's just that, it's just, no, there's no freaking way. I probably shouldn't be doing that. Y'all, I think this is mold. Girly. She moldy. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I took her skirt off. Um, I really, I really do think this is mold. Like, what do I do? I'm pretty sure I can just wash this, right? I can just wash this with like some hot water and soap and everything will be fine. I'm sure like it has to just be, you know, some humidity must have gotten in the box or something in the warehouse, like before she got sealed in. And then, you know, because these dolls aren't made within like the, I, the product is already done when we get leaks and I'm pretty sure, you know, these have been already made within a year, like probably last year is when these were made. So these were probably just sitting in a warehouse waiting to be shipped out um, yeah, look at me. I'm trying to rationalize and come up with excuses as to why there is mold on my doll's skirt. Like, I, I'm pretty sure this is not going to hurt me. But this, honestly, it's almost like not okay because... Imagine if a kid got this or something. Like, I'm pretty sure the mold is harmless. You know, we do have harmless mold and stuff. But I still feel like this isn't okay. Like, what happened? But, like, I'm pretty sure I can just clean this in hot, soapy water. And it should be okay. But, yeah. So, Pinky James came with a moldy skirt. Love that for me. Love it. We're just going to set that to the side and let's finish looking at Miss uh, Pinky James. Um, right. Um, and here are her shoes. I feel like there's no coming back from that. Anyways, here are her boots. They are like little translucent pink boots. And we have a like charcoal gray type heel and it says shh all the way around the shoe for shadow high. And we have a painted on zipper and the bottom looks like that. Um, I think some black socks or like some dark gray socks will look cute, like little, little socks, like little scrunch type of socks, you know, because her feet going to be stinking in these. She's going to have blisters, everything. It's going to be bad. Um, as far as articulation goes... She is articulated in the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. The wrist, there we go. The hip and the knee. You're just gonna get one whole bath because I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. Um, and that was Shadow High Series 3, Pinky James. This is a look right now. This is, yeah. Um, Because the skirt is, is going to be getting cleaned. And I will probably clean the shoes and the shirt too. Because now I'm scared that there's mold on other parts of her clothes. And now I feel I have to really, really check these dolls like I can't just check the face anymore and make sure everything is even with the makeup and that the lips aren't chipped I'm really now gonna have to sit and inspect that outfit and what was really what was really like crappy is the front of the skirt looks great but it was the it was on the back so I can't see the back of the doll in the packaging but wow so yeah that was fantastic so if you are a collector or a gift giver, whatever, when it comes to these dolls, 
don't just check to make sure oh no don't just check to make sure um so yeah there's no like little thingies for her to hold it so i use some like poster putty it's fine but yeah don't just check the face you're gonna have to be inspecting that outfit too because that was a little bit of a shock um to see that there was mold on my doll well not the doll itself but like the clothes and you know i remember when neon shadow came out there were pictures i think it was um what's her name uma the purpley looking one the one that plays guitar her hat like there are some pictures that came out where her hat had mold on it and like the tank top straps on her blue sequin shirt had mold on it but you know it's one of those things where you're like man that sucks and you think it's never gonna happen to you and then it happens to you and you're just kind of like left like what what but yeah you know in a way that's kind of not okay like um I think maybe we need to uh be checking these warehouses and everything because that that's not okay because you know I'm sure it's like not mold that is going to you know hurt me like I'm pretty sure it's just simple mold but it's still not okay but yeah let me know down below what you guys think of shadow high series three pinky james all that good stuff what do you guys think of her new look it's great right yeah um just let me know down below what you guys think of her what do you guys think of shadow high series three so far all that good stuff and i hope to see you in the next video hopefully not with a moldy doll <laughs> love you bye all right so i went back to walmart where i got my pinky james and i actually discovered two more dolls on the shelf that had the mold on them brought it to an employee's attention and they could have cared less so just check your dolls y'all